London musicians are famous across the world for the quality. I believe our musicians are at least the equal of London. The room that we have here to record in is absolutely fabulous. It's acoustically isolated, designed around the dimensions of Abbey Road 1. What we didn't have, of course, that was matched to that super high quality in London was a control room. We have that now. We are Scotland's National Orchestra, the RSNO. We give concerts here in Scotland and abroad. We've got a broad range of education projects and more and more we are taking part in classical and commercial recording projects. We did Kevin Costner's film that's released in June. It's called Horizon. We did the Avatar game. We've done multiple projects for Netflix. We've worked for Disney and Disney Imagineering. And the feedback we had was fantastic musicians, amazing recording room but the control room we had was inadequate. It did not match the quality of the rest of the offering. So we had to fix that weakness in our business. So this room previously was where we stored our percussion instruments and where our percussion guys practiced. And it's a completely soundproofed box within a box. And as you can see, it's double height and a spacious room. And that was designed for the acoustics required for percussion practice, but it turns out it's perfect for a control room as well. When we decided we were going to invest in this room, we asked some of our contacts, our composers, people in our business. There are two very eminent composers, John Lunn and Lorne Balfe, that mentioned yellow technology and uh, told us how wonderful they were. The design process was really exciting for myself and for the engineering team. And to be able to work with yellow technology through 3D modelling, through images, just brought it all to life early on and allowed us all to build exactly what we wanted. The whole build phase was really challenging. We wanted as little downtime as possible, so we kept the old control room functional as long as we can. So right at the start, we had to punch a hole through the concrete to get the electrical supply through. And then behind the walls that you see here, we had a grid of carpentry. It's like a massive chessboard with different acoustic treatments worked out by the Yellow Technology Acoustic Engineers. We put on this wonderful stretched blue material on the walls. And then the floor was raised in order that we could get an electrical supply to this desk. And then finally the carpentry that went on, which I think is absolutely fabulous. But it's also very practical, you know, all the electrical runs are behind these wooden panels there and you can easily take them off for access as required. And just to give you an idea of the speed and efficiency, they didn't start on site till early March. And we are now sat here in mid-April and it's been completed on time, on schedule. We looked at two options for the placement of this control room. One option did have direct line of sight, but there were other compromises we weren't prepared to accept. The room would be too small, we couldn't get double height. This room here, we could have an uncompromised control room. And the fix that we put in place for direct line of sight was this virtual window that you see behind me. As well as being able to watch the musicians in some detail, you've also got the opportunity to play back your film on this wonderful big screen. The desk we have here is a 96 track SSL Duality. We had the 72 track desk in the old control room, but with some of the biggest projects, some of the biggest mixes, we were slightly stretched and we wanted to be completely uncompromising in the offer we made. So we went to that extra 96 tracks. The height with the volume of the room gave us this great possibility to a Dolby Atmos 7.1.4. And when we turned it on, it became apparent that this was working really well. It's a totally immersive listening experience and a wonderful place to come and mix in Dolby Atmos. For some of the larger projects we've done, we've had as many as 12 or 13 people in the room. And we've tried to design this room in a way that there's somewhere perfect for everybody. We've got this big work desk for composer, arranger, music supervisor. But in actual fact, the kind of two-tier system, I think, gives a rather wonderful space for clients to sit at the back or the front of the room. Another feature of the room is the rack we have with all the equipment, which has been put into a specially designed, acoustically sealed box, which is rather a beautiful feature of the room at the side there. We're completely set up for remote recording, and as well as all the equipment in this room here, we benefit from super fast, reliable broadband. That's part of the advantage of being right in the middle of a city, right in the middle of Glasgow. 
Working with Yellow Technology has been a fantastic experience. Right from the start, when we had our early Zoom calls, it was clear that they had a plan, that they were organized. But really, I've been awestruck since the project has started. The efficiency of the work every day I came in here and the progress was incredible. But just to have the confidence to leave it to them, we were so hands off. Once it started, they had it so in hand. It was just fun to watch it from the sidelines. I think what is unique about Yellow Technology is they did absolutely everything. They cleared the site, they organised the carpentry, the design, the architecture of the room, everything they took on and everything they delivered. They've been a delightful crowd. My office is just through there and I'd come down here twice, three times a day just to see what was happening. And I just looked forward to coming down and talking to them. They were so communicative. They didn't make me feel like I was imposing at all. And I know that my team would say to you that without exception, they were great people to deal with. We want to do the biggest films, we want to work for the biggest clients, and uh, these projects require big teams. You need a room of this size. But they're also very demanding, you know, they want world class, and we have to offer that here in Glasgow. And I believe now we have an offer that is the equal of anybody. This project required a large investment, and we're enormously grateful to Scottish Enterprise to the RSNO Foundation and to the Ian and Pamela Sinclair Legacy for providing the funds that have made this possible and that have allowed us to develop this really important business for the RSNO. The offer we are making here is a key part in the jigsaw of making Scotland a fully functional, comprehensive film, television and video game sector. When I was a young musician, I'll never forget the first time I walked into Abbey Road Studios. And I sat there in awe thinking of all the things that had been done in that space, in that room. And I'd love to think if you come back here in 5, 10, 20 years, as a young musician, you'll walk into this room, into this space, and you'll think of all the amazing projects that were done here.